What is up, YouTube fam? So that Neon Channel here with another daily video. We've been popping out the neon videos, haven't we, guys? Alright, so if you're new to my channel, please leave a like and hit the subscribe button if you ain't already subscribed. So this video today, guys, as you can already tell by the title, is how to make an EGR delete. So EGR is where it they use it to heat up the motor because these are fuel injected cars and not carbureted. But you don't need them because second gen Neons didn't have it. This is what you call your EGR valve. They go bad. It will set off the check engine light if you delete it unless you get a Mopar ECU, which I have a Mopar in my car. But who cares if the check engine light's on? As long as you pass the inspection or emission, you're good. I just pull the bulb out personally. So, um... What we're doing is deleting this because what it does is take an exhaust gas and stick it back into the intake. And it dirties your intake up like crazy, guys. All right, let's take a look at this intake off Brad's car. Do you see how black that is in there? Look at my, look at that. That is disgusting. And that's all from exhaust. So the EGR goes in here. You can see it's even caked up with nasty gunk. Get it to focus a little bit. See, there's the gunk. See all that exhaust shit? Oh, yeah, we never took EGR off Brad. So, this is Brad's EGR valve. But if you look behind there, there's this valve hole right here, which comes from the number four uh, exhaust hole on your mirror right here. See? And if you look to the side, there's a hole that goes through. You can't really see because it's so gunked up. And there's the valve. So, what we're going to do is make a plate that blocks off this. And then we're going to make a plate that blocks off this hole. On the single cams, it's a little bit bigger and different, so bear with me. Uh, we're not going to make one for this side because Brad's a single cam now. But we're going to make the one for this side. So what you're going to need is this old EGR valve off here. And you'll need this side to make the side for the intake. And you're going to need this side to make the side for the head. So we got over here... We have us an EGR valve. I was going to use the uh, leftover parts from the 240 frame rail, but uh, the old frame rail. But I just figured I had this piece of metal, might as well make it out of this. It's nice and you know, thick. So, what we're going to do is we'll need a sharpie, but we're going to lay it on there like that and we're going to draw around it as close to the edge as we can. We're going to draw around this edge around here. And then we're going to cut it out, and then we'll cut it even, you know, more precise around the edge. We're going to just cut a chunk out, and then we'll cut it out to the fit. Then we'll drill our holes, and then we'll have ourselves an EGR delete. You'll use a stock gasket, put this over top of the stock gasket, bolt it down. You'll probably have to chop your bolts. I'm pretty sure you have to shorten the bolts because they'll be too long. So we'll cut those in half, or get shorter bolts because I have shit tons of bolts. And that'll be the EGR delete for the head. And the same with this side. You'll just stick this side on there also. Bang. Might even use one of these holes that are already there. Um, trace it out. Cut it out. So we have one done to the intake already for the single cam. Um, if it was the same, I'd just make a new one. But it's not. You can see it's a pain in the dick. We're going to try to stick with the one we got on there. If it doesn't work, we're going to stick some um, silicone on there and just get it to seal up. It really doesn't matter. But, uh, yeah, might have to remove the battery tray. So, hopefully Brad isn't upset about that because I just made him install it. But first, we're going to make the one for the head, the most important one, because it sounds like a fucking tractor without it plugged. So, let's get to uh, tracing this thing. Let me find a Sharpie and I'll be back. Alright guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to have this side on the edge so we have to do less cutting. Focus. Focus. Whatever. We're going to have Brad hold it and we're going to outline it. So like I said, just take the Sharpie, go around. And you got to be getting a you know, Mozart fucking work, but I want to get it as nice as you can. Before Brad moves it. Sorry. I'm 
All right, and that'll be it. So there you go. Actually, put that back on there. Now we're gonna do the holes too. All right, hold it. Got it. Mm -hmm. Just take your sharpie down, stick it through the middle. Hopefully, it was enough. Yep. Same thing with both sides. You can see, bang, bang. Now you can move it out of the way. Now, all we gotta do is cut that out with our cutoff wheel. And um, once we get that cut out, we'll be back. See you in a minute. First, so we got our cutoff wheel. Now we're just gonna think, 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 cut it out. We'll be done. If I had a way to hold the camera, I would, but Brad's in the middle of doing his oil and just wanna get it done. Guys, and we got this chunk cut out right here. Now we're gonna go stick it in the vise and trim it up a little bit, make it look a little nicer. Basically, all we're gonna do is chop those edges off right here, and right here, and right there, and make it look a little nice, neater. This side's already done the way I cut it, so cool beans. See you guys once I finish that. All right, guys, so we got her. Bang. Now we just need to drill the holes out. We got it all cut and looking great and perfect and so, should draw a smiley face on there, but I'm not. Right, I'm gonna drill these holes out. I'll be back. Alright guys, so we got the each yard drilled out. Now you can see how the pattern was before. This is just uh, an example. We're gonna stick it on Brad's head. But see how the bolt the holes line up now. Do -do -do -do. Make sure I got it lined up before I show you. And holes line up perfect. Alright guys, I know that wasn't focused, but I'm doing it with one hand. So, you want to do the same idea with the uh, intake side. Just trace her out. And uh, cut her out, and you'll have an EGR delete for your intake side. I think I might make one for my car, because I just JB welded mine shut. But, uh, yeah. I think we are going to make one for my car because my car doesn't, it's just JB welded and it might be some of the issue. Not really. Whatever. We're going to stick this thing on Brad's car so we can get his car fired up. So, if you enjoyed that video, hit the thumbs up. Questions or comments, put them down in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button. If you ain't already subscribed, if you're new to the channel, go check out some of our other videos. We got tons of videos. Neon videos, 24 swap videos, 240 videos. Anything you can imagine to do with neons is pretty much on here. And um, we'll see you guys tomorrow for another, another daily video. Peace out.